three tier list. First is from Genshin.gg. Ooh, my favorite. My favorite, Genshin.gg. All right, you guys know about this website. Everybody knows about this website. So look at this. Bailu, S tier. Bronya, S tier. Japat, S tier. Jingyuan, Sila, Tingyan. Okay, these are all the S tier. A tier, Clara, Himeko, Fire, Trailblazer, Well, Yanqing, Esta, Bella. Okay. B tier, B tier. Serval, <laughs> March 7, Danheng. C tier, Hu, Shampoo, D, Herta. Okay. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. A lot of tier lists. So, so far, we can all agree on this. Herta is the worst character right now, it seems, based on the tier list. Alright. But even then, she has a usage. Himeko. I don't know. Himeko. Do you guys agree that Himeko and Clara is the same tier? I know it's a bit hard to compare both of them, but I feel like Clara is way more versatile than Himeko. I think Himeko is not bad, but it's just uh, for her to be same tier as <laughs> Clara. A tier Himeko confirm. Made by Akuma. Yo, chill man, chill. Okay, so yeah, uh, there's a lot of things here that uh, Clara is better. Yeah, I feel like Clara is better. Well, we'll see. But yeah, I, I do think that uh, a lot of people say that the physical Trailblazer is pretty weak. Trailblazer physical has a very unique ability that can hit single target and AoE sort of, which I do like, but I can see why people prefer Sushang because it's just better to straight up focus on the enemy straight up, right? Only reason why Tingyan is S tier because people don't have Bronya. I mean, Tingyan and Bronya are the same tier. Uh, although, here's the thing, right? You could also argue that Tingyan is easier for you to E6 her. And yeah. Who deserve A or B? Yeah, so this tier list so far, um, I I would I would push up Clara for sure. All right, I'm not sure about Well. I think Well is a bit of mixed feeling right now. I think he's, I think it's fair that he's somewhere here. Uh, I would push up Dan Heng here. I don't see why Hook is below Dan Heng. Dan Heng is and Su Xiang is very. They are both very strong. Single target. I think Hook, Dan Heng, and Su Xiang should all be in the same tier because they are single target, just different elements. And Hook has DOT. I, I guess Dunheng has Windshare, Su Xiang has Bleed, so it really depends on what they're trying to do. Hook, same tier as Arlen. Okay, this is from Genshin.gg. Let's have a look at... This one is from Honkai.gg, tier list. Phew! Alright, so this one is a little bit different. So Honkai.gg, how they, how they did it is they separate damage dealers, supports, so depending on which one you want. So triple S right now, Sila. Who? Top tier. Who? Apparently is the highest top killer. Okay. Yan Qing. Dan Heng. All same tier. Apparently Who is as strong as Yan Qing here. Clara below Who. Clara abuses. Single target by the way. Single target destroyed by Who. Who is better in its single target. Let's look at AOE. Boom. AOE. Suddenly Clara is as strong as Sila. Ooh, Himeko. Hook is below. Makes sense. How is Serval and Hook same tier in AOE department? Uh, Herta in AOE, very good. Arlen, bottom. Okay. So single target, who is bottom? Herta. Herta and Trailblazer physical. Uh, Qingchue, Serval. Okay, let's have a look at supports then. Let's have a look at supports. Boom. Supports Bronya and Tingyan. Makes a lot of sense. Bailu and Trailblazer. Wait, Trailblazer is a support. I guess they count defensive as support as well. Uh, okay. So Japat, Natasha, Well, Okay. March 7, Bella, Esther. So how about AOE? Wait, Esther is B tier support. B tier. Worse than Bella. Worse than March 7th. But she's not really support though. She's a bit of damage. I guess the supporting capabilities is not that, that strong. Arlan create to put a slot on lowest tier. So this is from uh, Honkai.gg. I would say pretty good. Uh, I do. I think this one I do agree more. Although I'm not sure if Yanqing is actually. Wait, wait, wait. Is Sushang not. I feel like Sushang should belong here in Danheng and Hook's tier. Uh, the rest for single target at least, right? Esther really good in AoE situation. Easy to stack her attack buff. 
I agree even though I use Esther 24-7 to break shields, Lamau. Yeah, she's good at breaking shields. But do you use her outside of breaking shields, right? Like, look at all of these supports. Bronya, you use her outside of breaking shields. Tingyan, you use her outside of breaking shields. Same for Bailu, yes. I do agree. Natasha as well. You don't use them for breaking shields. But for Esther, I guess she's in the weird spot. If the enemy is not weak against fire, you are better off using a healer or Bronya or Tingyan if you have them. Like, if you don't have them, yeah, I get it. Esther is still your, your choice. So other than that, uh, that's also something to always consider, right? So let's have a look at Pride Wins 1. So Pride Wins updated tier list. Okay, so they, they mentioned here they updated recently on 5th... Wait, 4th, 4th of uh, May. 4th of May. So they updated this 2 days ago. So let's have a look at Pride Wins tier list. So we can also configure this uh, general... A single target, AOE. So let's look at general. So damage dealer, Sila is super high tier. Okay, followed by Clara below her. Now Bronya and Tingyan is right here as a offensive support, debuffer, defensive support, Bailu, Japat, and Trailblazer Fire. Yeah, I do think that Japat should be the same tier as Trailblazer Fire. So I do think that this is something to to take note of, although, yeah, Bailu is really strong as well. So this one, I can somehow see how this makes sense. So next up in S tier, Danheng, Hook, Sushang, and Yanqing. Yeah, I do agree with this more. I do think that how come uh, Sushang shouldn't be below Hook and Danheng? I think they are all they all have their capabilities. Pella though, well, hmm, well as a debuffer is the same as Pella. I guess so. Uh, defense decrease is somewhat uh. Very, very important as well. And then next up, we have March 7th, Natasha. So for heal, Natasha is one tier below Bailu. Here's the thing, right? I do think that Natasha can sometimes provide better things than Bailu in terms of the remove debuff, uh, which can be very useful. Like, I know when I fight World 6, uh, fight Madam Kokolia, uh, she can sometimes freeze you, right? And Natasha can remove debuff in that sense, uh, which Bailu cannot, as far as I am concerned. Uh, she can't really remove debuff, so Natasha still have something above Bailu. In some situation, I can see Natasha shines slightly more. March 7 is here, makes sense. So Himeko, Qingque, Shampoo, and Serval, A tier. Esta is right here as well. Uh, as an offensive support debuffer role, below Pella. So apparently, uh, players seem to value Pella more. Clara deserves to be SS. Uh, same as Sila. I don't know, it's quite hard. Because Clara, here's the thing, right? Clara's role is a bit weird, I think. She's destruction path compared to Sila, which is the hunt. I think it depends on the ability to put your equipments and light cone as well. And because if you are destruction, you tend to be a little bit different. You are more of towards the... Destruction seems to be like bruiser type. So you gotta get hit to benefit from certain light cones that I saw, that I saw right? Some light cones, when you get hit, you get uh, bonus damage. So maybe you, if you set it up to maximum potential, sure, but it really depends. It depends on the team. Uh, Arlen, Trailblazer Physical is literally B tier, and Herta is always bottom tier. Makes sense. Makes sense. Trailblazer should just be S, and they are biased about Japat. So what makes you think that uh, Trailblazer Fire is way better than Japat, other than uh, every free-to-play player has Trailblazer, right? Uh, I guess we shouldn't judge how easy it is to obtain a character, we should judge how strong a character is based on tier list. Japat E0 versus Trailblazer E6 fire. Yeah, but I don't think this tier list is taking into consideration of that, which is what I'm trying to say. I know you guys are trying to say that uh, you can get E6 tra Trailblazer fire for free, and you can't get E6 Japat, but I don't think this tier list is taking that into consideration. If that's the case, uh, Hook and Danheng and Su Xiang should be way higher than Yanqing, because Yanqing is 5 star. And it, I think most people have already E6 Danheng, Hu, or Su Xiang before they will ever get a single copy of Yanqing. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So yeah, it's a bit complicated, I guess. Even if, it, even if he or she is slightly better, but is it like way better to justify the difference in tier, right? Like, do Japat deserve to be here uh, alongside March 7 or Natasha? You need someone to write Reddit essay to tell me Trailblazer is better than Japat? It doesn't matter though. If you have both, just build both, alright? Just build whoever. One is a fire, one is a ice. It's not like they are the same element, so I doubt they will clash that much. Equal Eidolon, they are equal. Yeah, I, I do think that if they are e equal Eidolon, they are somewhat equal, somewhat. 